Welcome to the Card Market Feature Match, where we play your decks in modern in paper because we love paper magic. We just love paper magic. Just the cards uh, hack. So let's say I'm a viewer sitting at home and I want us to play my deck. How would I go about that? Oh, it's really great. After you click the sub button, if you scroll down just a little bit further down, you have the comment section. If you leave a deck list or a link, we don't care. It can be MTG Goldfish. We don't mind. We don't discriminate here. We'll just. Pick one of the decks from the comments below and play it against each other. So I, I scroll down a bit, I click subscribe, and Most then I scroll game. down further and I leave a deck list. And now we get into the game. Today, I'm playing a very fun deck that I've never played before. Sliver Tribal never quite made it into tier one modern. It saw some play with Collected Company, but then yeah, it never quite got off the ground. Anyways, today I'm playing it because someone asked for it in the comments and I'm not playing Collected Company, but instead I'm playing all the tribal lands and five colors of good stuff slivers. One creature I want to mention here uh, that stands out because while it is technically a sliver, it's, it's also all other creature types in that it's a changeling, is Realm Walker from Kaldheim, which is insane. It's a three mana two three that lets you place slivers off the top of your deck that lets you play Slivers of Marina from Modern Horizons. Um, also not a sliver per se, it, it's a changeling, but it makes my creatures safe. All right, we don't play our own decks, that's boring. We play the decks that people left in the comments, and one of you wild people asked for Izzet Fairies. Now, I hope Yamin is not playing that good of a deck, because of course, if I'm playing Izzet, the sane thing to do would be to play Merktide Regent, um, Ragvan, Dragon's Rage Channeler, but no, I was one of those people that got very excited when Bitter Blossom was on ban, so when I saw this list, I was like, let's do this. Unlike most tribal decks, this is not an aggro deck. I'm not playing creatures on my turn and turning them sideways. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a little more sophisticated than that. I'm gonna be passing the turn almost every turn and not playing one of my two Blood Moons, and then reacting to Yamin's spells with counter spells in the form of counter spell or spell stutter sprite. I'm playing lightning bolt. I can also Vendillion clique and block. I can bounce creatures with my brazen borrower and then play it and attack. And the big nail in the coffin, I am sure I gain enough tempo is I have Mistbind Cleek, which is a huge 4-4 flying that just taps all of his glands on the beginning of his upkeep. I can counter spell, kill something, attack in, do some damage on a pivotal turn. I can just flash in a Mistbind Cleek, tap down on his lands, swing for four the next turn, and there's this neat little thing I can do is if I put a spell setter sprite under a Mistbind Cleek, on one of his turns, if he casts a spell, I can Mistbind Cleek my Mistbind Cleek, make a spell stutter sprite, enter the battlefield, counter spell, tap all his lands. There's a lot of play to this deck, I just love it. Yeah, man? This question will no longer feel the same. <laughs> Do you have a companion? To I have clear? a nurse, right? No. Oh. <laughs> no, you don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have a companion either. How times have changed. Yeah. Do you know which question doesn't change? The roll off. Yes, the I would like off. to roll off. That's Ooh, ten. that's pretty good. That's not quite as good. You're gonna go first, right? I will. So good luck. And to you. Have fun. I will keep. Going first is great. This hand is great. Both things combined are a bit awkward because two ether vials on the play might mean that I will run out of fuel very quickly because in total I have two ether vials and two lands in hand making for four cards that are no slivers. Great, I think we're gonna have the maximal amount of fun because I will keep as well. <laughs> wow, this hand is great. I don't know what Yamin's playing, but lightning bolt as removal. I have a counter spell. If he plays something that can't lightning bolt, if I miss countering the spell, I can bounce it with the brazen bar and then counter it on the way back down. I've got some beaters. This is a great hand. All right, Carl, I, th I feel like my first turn might already give things away. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna play Cavern of Souls naming Slivers. <gasps> <laughs> you bold choice! I'll tap it and play an, un no, not an uncounterable, just a regular Eco oh, I feel pretty silly now for coming with a counter spell deck. Go ahead. I will go ahead. I'll draft for turn. I will um, play a Scalding Tarn and pass the turn to you. All right, it smells like counter spells. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a yeah, I might have brought a few. Look, I haven't played with Aether Vial in a while. In a, in a vial! In, in a vial! <laughs> I haven't played with Aether Vial in a vial. But I won't forget that counter. Um, so right now I have the choice between deploying a second vial or playing a two drop sliver. And I think I'm gonna go with the additional sliver because vial is meant to speed me up, not slow me down. And the first vial speeds me up, but the second one would actually slow me down. I'm gonna play an unclaimed territory. All right. 
I'll name Sliver. Full choice. Indeed. And I'll cast an uncounterable Muscle Sliver. Yes! It's it's crazy how these slivers look. And 14 <laughs> slivers, they're all... <laughs> yeah. No longer weird aliens from space, no. but rather weird Al from next door. Go I'm ahead. going to fetch and yes. return. I will be taking three. Nice, 17. 17. Uh, you're the aggro deck, so this is the direction you want to be going with my life total. And I am going to bolt your muscle sliver. Not so muscly no more. Not so muscly no more. Skip leg day. Uh, all on top. Yep. Draw for turn. And I will play... Now there's a few reasons here that I'm playing the island over the Muta Vault. Although generally the upside would have the Muta Vault as a blocker or an attacker or any shenanigans like that. First of all, Yemen is forced to curve out. So if he just has a bunch of one drops in hand, he might play into it anyways. And I can use finally my counter spell and probably the only occasion I can there. But mostly it leads Yemen to believe that all I have is counter spell here. Plain and colorless source would very much tell us cast that I have a brazen borrower or something of the like. So here he won't be expecting the brazen borrow in his vial. Also, Muta Vault just clearly announces that I'm playing out the fairies or merfolk. He's sniffed out the counter spell, but he hasn't sniffed out what I'm on. And I will play an island? Yep. And um, I'm not here to play spells during my turn. <laughs> yeah, man. This smells like a lot of counter spells that <laughs> suck against this camera. Yeah, <laughs> Two thirds of your permanence just completely <laughs> bypass counter spells. All um, right. Yeah, unfortunately, I will be passing the turn. End of turn, I will. Activate this vial. Would you like to respond to this activation? Would you like to cast any spells? No, I would not. No counter spells or anything, no. <laughs> counter spell to your activation? <laughs> I don't have stifle, this is not legacy. Uh, I'm just making fun of your useless spells in hand, Carl. <laughs> yes, your slivers have first strike, Yamin. Yeah, My slivers do have first like strike with this. First like? <laughs> <laughs> like when there's a post on Facebook and you have to speak the first to like? <laughs> yeah, that's what my slivers do. They hang on social media <laughs> all day. Uh, anyways, a vial up to two. Yep. And draw a card. And then I will cast an uncounterable leeching sliver. Ooh, um, yeah, I'm gonna take some damage. Whenever sliver I control attacks, defending player loses one life. And then I'll head into the red zone with this one. Let's skip a little forward. I'm gonna take two in total. Ah, uh, no, before, before damage, after no blocks, I'll put in this oh. sinew sliver. Can't just skip around uh, combat here. I'm, I, I won't be missing that <laughs> free point uh, of damage. I'll take one. 16. I'll take the extra two. Yes. Down to 14, 14 Carl. Yes. Can you feel your life draining? It is. Is it the leech sliver? Leeching. Yes. <laughs> it's a leeching sliver. Um, I thought you were asking about its name. <laughs> um, end of turn? Yes. I'm going to petty theft away your other vial back to your hand. That's a bit scary. Can't have everything uncounterable all the time. Um, all on top? Sure. Let's draw for turn? Yep. I'll play a Muta Vault. Okay, that's a sliver. <laughs> oh no, that's a sliver! That is a sliver. <laughs> oh no! Um, N15 had some that it's other slivers. So this one is uh, this one is a con you, only ones you control at first strike. Yeah, but this but one. But it's currently a 3-3. Uh, yeah. The text. <laughs> so the sinew sliver does affect the mutable. It does, but, but this one does not. Um, and this one you, doesn't And this either. one does not. So only the sinew sliver. Yeah. Not bad. Um, I'm going to pass the turn to you. All right, I'll untap. I'll take a draw. You're making a fool out of me, Carl, <laughs> with this mutable. Yeah. This is not fair. That's not how this game is supposed to be played. I'll yeah, play it's supposed to only pump your own slivers. <laughs> I'll play uh, a sliver hive. And I will cast an ether vial. Yes, that's okay. All right, it resolves. And I guess I'll cast an uncounterable dragscape, dragscape sliver. It gives your slivers unearth, correct? Exactly. And you're making a fool out of me, Carl. <laughs> Go ahead. End of turn. I'm going to take advantage of this moment I have where I don't need to block with my Muta Vault. I'm going to Prismary Command, shooting two here. Yep. And destroying your Ether Vault. That's brutal. It is. I feel a bit embarrassed. 
bouncing the other rail and then drawing the prismary command, but the tempo swing is there. The yeah, tempo swing is. has been accomplished. All in time for turn? Sure. Drop. The Muta Vault was pretty good, right? Mm. <laughs> I have a yeah, second one. That's uh, but you're not pumping them anymore. What I will have to do is Lightning Vault, the Jeez. sliver that gives an earth. Yep. And pass the turn to you. Remember how I said the starting hand had kind of little action? Carl's hand is highlighting exactly this. He's bolting and prismari commanding my creatures, and I'm sitting there on vials and land. And I will take my draw. Let's cast an uncounterable Cloud Shredder Sliver. You say uncounterable all the time. I do. We both know, but <laughs> it's just, ugh. <laughs> yes, uh, so your, uh, your slivers have haste and flying. Indeed. Cloud Shredder Sliver here is insane because this effect is not symmetrical, so I get to make it past Carl's mutables. It's good. Let's make them hasty. Uh, I'll take three. Yep. Down to 11. 11. Then I'll take three. Yep. Down to eight. Yep. And I'll follow it up with another ether vial. Ooh, that's, uh, that's hurtful. Um, yeah. All right. Go ahead. Untap. Draw for turn. I'll play this land tapped. And I am going to have to be passing again. I don't really know to what to expect. Usually, what players will play in that spot is Cryptic Command, but you don't even have triple I definitely can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, counter on the Aether Vial. And... Draw. It's a bit awkward, but I will play an unclaimed territory, naming okay. slivers once again. Un I'll unearth this dragscape yes. sliver, and then I'll unearth uh, the muscle sliver. That's pretty powerful. It is. And then I'd like to move to combat. I'm going to pay two, play a Snapcaster Mage. Yep. Targeting Lightning Bolt. Yep. Shoot it at. Oh, this is so embarrassing because. The most damage I can prevent is by shooting at the Muscle Sliver, but that's gone anyways. Mm, yeah. I guess the best bet is to go for the Li Qing Sliver. Mm. I know the name now. Yeah. Uh, doink. Doink. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll still head into the red zone, Carl. Uh, you still do. I'm gonna go ahead and block here for the three damage. I'll take one, two, three, three four, four, five, six. six. Down to Down two. To two. So then um, this one goes into exile and this one yes. goes into exile as well. Not as mighty <laughs> anymore. Not as, still, um, I'll untap. Sure. Draw for turn. Okay, we have a ray of hope. We have a way out of this. I would love to Vendillion Cleek whatever Yaman draws here, make sure it's really bad. But if it's a two drop, he gets to put into plain response and we need to stabilize a little bit more. Now we have the Brazen Borrower he knows about. So ideally I'd block with that first. And also, especially if ever Yamin taps Vile to put a creature in and I Vendillion click him in response, he can either draw land or a creature that he can't play with the Vile and that just wastes his tempo. So we're gonna go with that and then next turn we're gonna try to start attacking in and cliquing. And uh, I've been passing the turn so far, I'm not gonna change my game plan. All right. I'll untap. I'll, pu I'll put a counter on Vile. Yes. I will draw. All right, I don't see any fancy things I can do here. I'll just cast an uncounterable <laughs> leeching sliver. Oh, that's game. Is it? Would you like to go to attacks? I would like to go to attacks. Um, Attack with these two. I take two. All right, yes. I take two. <laughs> Finally, you made it to the best part of the show, where we get to thank Karma Crow. Yeah, man, why are we thanking Karma Crow? Because they make this show possible. They borrow us all the cards to play with, because frankly, we can't spend 2,000 euros right on modern day tag like every week. They have all the cards. They're one of the largest power sellers on card market. They've been doing this since forever, basically. And their inventory is basically infinite, which yeah, is why they have they... over 700,000 cards. So not only can they lend us the 260 card piles we put, they got us uh, 15 extra cards out of the sideboard each, which we're gonna get into right now. Okay, it's easy here. All of our counter spells are bad. Unfortunately, we don't have as many cards to bring in as we have counter spells. So we're bringing out four counter spells. We're also bringing out two Archmage's Charm. We'd bring out four, but they're useful sometimes. They draw cards, and we don't have enough cards to bring in. Uh, what we are bringing in is 
two Ether Gusts because we need to bring in some cards and he does have green and red or both creatures and it's kind of a removal spell and it goes around all of his counter magic protection. So we are using the Ether Gusts. They're just good, they're removal. Uh, we're also bringing in two Engineer Explosives because sometimes it's just gonna wipe his board. He has a lot of two drops. And finally, we're bringing in an Anger of the Gods just because if you resolve that early, Yaman just doesn't draw a lot of cards with slivers. So if he curves out and then I hit four creatures with it, it's backbreaking. I don't think he can come back from that. My sideboard is really not set up well against the stuff that Carl has showed me, except for one Spells Guide, because Spells Guide can eat Lightning Bolt for days. So that was beating. It was. Let's do it again. Uh, <laughs> yes, Carl, now. let's do it again. This no, time. no, 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 we'll do the same. Um, I will draw. Uh, it will be different because I will have to mulligan. There's no debating whether I keep this hand or not. There's one land, there's a four drop. We're just not going anywhere with this. I'll keep. I was thinking about some funny line I could say, but... It but just, you're just keeping. It, it, I'm just keeping. <laughs> this hand looks even better than the first one because against a cheap interactive deck like Carl's, I don't even want the Ether Vial because the tempo it provides just isn't worth being down a card. Um, so a hand full of slivers is great, and it has a Cavern of Souls to boot. Attempt number two. Let's make it good this time. I wouldn't say it's good, <laughs> but I can live with this. Oh no, Carl. This hand, much better. Two removal spells. One Archmage's Charm, if he doesn't draw a Cavern of Souls, we get to maybe counter some spells. If not, we steal a one drop. If not, we draw two cards. We're gonna get rid of the Mistbind Clique because early, we don't have any creatures to exile with it yet. And uh, we're not gonna get to four mana anytime soon. We need some interactive spells to be able to get to four mana. So we'll get rid of that. But I'm feeling pretty confident with this discard hand. I will start off with a Scalding Tarn. And pass it in to you. All right. I'll pass. Not, I, I won't pass the turn to you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> gotcha. Um, I'll play a Cavern of Souls. Naming, Again? Naming Slivers. Uh, and I'll cast a Gale sliver. Rider Sliver. All right. All my Slivers have flying. They do. Um, I will fetch. Go ahead, take in only one. Take in only one. 19. For those of you that would argue that it's better here to get a Mountain and Bolt the Glade Rider Sliver, it's not. One of it is we have Archmage's Charm. Uh, and so we need three blue on turn three. And most importantly, uh, Lightning Bolt is really precious. We want to nab any of his lords. Uh, Glade Rider Sliver, most of my creatures have flying anyways. Even the Muta Vaults, if he gives them flying. I will get a Steam Vents. All right. And that's it for the end of your turn. Now we get to the good part, my turn. <laughs> I'll draw. I will play this untapped. And for the moment, I'll just be passing the turn. That smells like a counter spell, Carl. Uh, I mean, they're not very good against your Kevin of Souls. They're not. I'll take my draw. I will play an unclaimed territory, name yes. it Sliver. I'll head into the red zone. You will. I'll take one. Down to 18. Only 18 turns to go. And I will cast a sliver, an unsettled mariner. That's actually surprisingly annoying. That's what he's made to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, end of your turn. I'm gonna pay one and an extra one, and I'm gonna have to bolt your mariner. It's uh, bolted. Feels bad. Uh, wasting a lightning bolt on a mariner, but it's a good card. I'll untap. I will play an island. Sure. And the turn will be yours again. The turn will be mine. I don't think I've played anything on my own turn in the in the whole match so far. Congrats, Carl. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Achievement unlocked. Untap, upkeep, draw. Neither Cloud Shredder nor Drexcape Sliver have any immediate impact right now, so I'm gonna go with the Predatory Sliver. I'll play a Secluded Courtyard. Ooh, that's a new one. Also naming Sliver. Can you give it a read? Uh, sure. It's basically an unclaimed territory, but I can also spend the mana to activate an ability of a creature or creature card of the chosen type. So okay. it's it's basically unclaimed territory, but also colored mana for uh, abilities. Are there any slivers with activated? Yeah, there are. Unearth, for example. For yeah. example, though that one only requires colorless mana. Anyways, it's a strict upgrade over unclaimed territory. Yeah. Uh, and with it, I will play another sliver. Are you ready for a revelation? No. 
No. <laughs> no, no, I'm not ready for this today. Uh, but I will have it anyways. I don't think uh, this is an option I have. This is not muscle sliver. This is a predatory sliver. <gasps> have we been naming it the wrong thing the whole time because the card is in German? The card is in German. I'm so sorry. Our viewers at home, they're disappointed. We'll do better next time. I, I was wondering because Jagd does not mean muscle. It's hunter, right? Yeah, it's like to the hunt. Back, back to the mat. I'll head into the red zone. Okay. I'll attack. I will pay two. I will fire your muscle sliver. It's fired. <laughs> no longer employed. <laughs> I was about to make some dumb joke about the youths calling it. That's a fire card. <laughs> That's so fire. Anyways, you'll be taking that. I one? will still be taking one. Seventeen. I'm, I'm telling you. Seventeen more turns. Go ahead. Uh, you have three cards in hand, correct? Four. Four. Wow, the luxury to be you. Be being on the draw. The luxuries of being on the draw. I will play this tapped, and I'll pass the turn to you again. I'll take my turn by untapping, and then taking my draw. So far, Carl has burned all of my slivers. Let's see if this one sticks. Honestly, I'll, I'll just keep trying. Um, <laughs> you just keep trying. Yeah, I'll, I'll cast another predatory <laughs> sliver. I don't care, Carl. <laughs> yep. Resolves? I mean, yes, it's uncounterable. I'll attack you. I'm going to... If this is another fire... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not fair again. I'm going to uh, cast Prismatic Command, dealing two damage, yep. and drawing two, discarding two. Sure. Two damage is dealt. I will draw two. I will discard two. Sure. And I will take one. 16 more turns, Carl. Talks, talks clicking. <laughs> Clock's ticking. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, hmm. I will play this island. Always be passing, that's A, B, P. A, B, P. Untap? Yes. Upkeep, draw. All right, we're getting somewhere. I'll play another Cavern of Souls, naming Sliver. Okay, Once so again. now two counter spells won't even do it. Yeah. I will um, cast a Sinew Sliver. Ooh. Uncounterable. Uncounterable. And then I will cast a Cloud Shredder Sliver. Oh, haste. It's haste. good. So I'd like to move to combat. I would like to, before combat, steal your Glade Rider sliver. Oh, that's so annoying, Carl. <laughs> because you pump it with your slivers as well? We're a team, Yaman. It's our slivers. There you go. It's mine. It's a 2-2. Two -two. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Come on. I'll pass the turn. I'm <laughs> back breaking. That was good. Uh, I'm excited about the turn of events. I'll draw for turn. You still have counter dot deck though. Um, uh, uncounter dot deck. Uncounter, uncounter dot deck. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what do you call it when you uncounter a spell? Like, I'll just take it back just into cast my head. Um, I will pass the turn again. Not even attacking? No, I'm just hoping you draw garbage. I'm just gonna sit back behind this flying tutu. -tu. I'll cast a uh, dragscape sliver. <gasps> On Earth is pretty good. Okay. I would like to activate an ability of a creature in my graveyard. Yes. Of this predatory sliver. You can. Activated. Ouch. Okay. I'd like to move to combat. Okay. Swing in with the team. Swing in with the team. And it's a big team. Swing in with the team could also be like a football team just being on some swings. Swings? It technically could, though unlikely. I'm swinging with the team. <laughs> um, this is going to be a short game. <laughs> um, oh, this feels so bad. Uh, but since this is infinite card advantage, I'm going to play in a spell stutter spray. Okay. Because I can't counter his stuff anyways. Yeah. I'm going to play another spell stutter spray. Oh no, Carl. I'm playing fairies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Carl. I'm gonna quadruple block. Yes, you will. Yeah, I will. I'll take nine. three, four, yeah, nine. That's down to seven. Yep, that's a little life total. These will trade? Sure. You get this back? Yeah, but <laughs> I'll, I'll take that trade. I feel <laughs> like I've undone that Archmage's trade. Yeah, yeah, you have. Um, um, 
Yeah, that's and that, that, this, this goes one to gets exile. exiled. Yeah. On the top. All right. I I like my spot. Um, I don't like mine. I mean, I like it better now. It's it's another, still not great. Another charm. I'm going to anger of the gods. Uh, that's maybe, pretty good. <laughs> maybe pretty even, good. Oh no! It, it even exalts. So anger of the gods was probably Carl's best draw here. That being said, realm walker is great at rebuilding because you know it lets me play the slivers from my deck instead of from my hand. Uh, and I'll pass the turn to you. All right. I'm to keep draw. I will cast a Realm Walker. I think this Ooh. is a first on this show. We yeah, never would you like one. to give it a read? Uh, so it's a changeling. It's a sliver. So yeah. <laughs> so it's and a fairy. A fairy. <laughs> um, and as it enters the battlefield, I choose a creature type. I choose sliver. Uh, I may look at the top card of my library at any time, and I may cast creature spells off the chosen type from the top of my library. So oh, I look wow. at this, and yeah. if this is a one mana sliver, I just cast just it. Just play it right ahead. Is it a one mana sliver? It's not. Okay. You can show the... Uh, I can show the viewers. Yeah. Although it says I may look at it, it doesn't say the viewers may look at it. Close, I hope they close their eyes. <laughs> the, the magic police is on their way. Um, I don't have anything else for this turn. Okay, I'll draw. I'll play... If only this could get rid of Railmwalker. I'll play Engineered Explosives on two. All right, yeah, I mean, that, that does stop like an, an unearth onslaught once. It, it does, it does. One. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't stop you casting a billion cards at the top of your library no, like it a doesn't. maniac. <laughs> uh, I'll pass the turn to you. <laughs> All right, I'll tap. Upkeep. Draw. I know what I will draw. In my draw step, you I'll, look, I'll look oh, at... Don't show, the, don't show the viewers the I won't real show, text. No, yeah, okay. I won't show the viewers. It's all right. Um, and I will then go ahead and cast a leeching sliver. Ooh, that's rough. And then I'd like to move to combat. You may. All right. I'll take one, then two. One, then two. Down to four. I need another anger of the gods. You might. Um, I'll just pass the turn. Okay, I'll draw. It's not an anger it, of the gods. It's not. I only have one anyways. I wasn't holding my breath for that. You drew your one off uh, anger? I did. I, I really wish I had this on turn three, but I will play my two of Blood Moon. Oh, um, good. That, that would have been sick. Wow, yeah, this deck just doesn't play basics. <laughs> yeah, but you can unearth for free. Um, I don't see a lot of outs, but I will pass to you. All right. I'll untap. Uh, I will draw. Yeah, I guess I have to move to combat. Unfortunately, if you just attack now, I'm dead, because that's lethal. It's five yeah. damage. Um, but I, even though I'm really scared of the Unearth Onslaught, I am going to have to pop the Engineer Explosives here to give me an One extra more turn. turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll attack with the Realm Walker. That's I got to do. That's half my life total. Half your life total. Done by a Realm Walker. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll play another mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. You know how I drew my one of Anger of the Gods? Yeah, and I, then, I, like, I fondly remember that. <laughs> fondly, uh, yeah, good times, good times. Um, and I drew one of my two of Blood Moons. I, I drew all my Blood Moons. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll just let you go ahead and pull the trigger. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. I'll check the top card of my library. Yes. It's a sliver. I can't cast you it. Cannot, no. <laughs> I don't have the mana. There's no colorless mana slivers. I'll unearth this. That is something that's colorless. I'll unearth this. I'll play another mountain. <laughs> I'll, You'll unearth another. I'll unearth this. You know what? It's for not because I'm going to die to the triggers. Oh. Oh. Attack. <laughs> okay. I take four in the triggers. I'm at minus two. Good games, Yamin. Good games. Slivers. Who'd have known? Carl. Yes, Yamin. You didn't have a sliver of hope left in you at the end there. <laughs> That's not... You know what? I'll, I'll take it. This morning, if you told me that I would get up and get beaten by a sliver deck to nothing whew, completely, I would have not believed you. But it happened. Slivers was great. And if you like slivers, if you're the one coming into the deck, I'm not very happy with it. But if you want to see other decks, what do you do, Yamin? You go down there, you scroll a bit, 
You click subscribe, then you scroll further, then you click into the comment box, and then you leave all the deck lists you want to see. We really, really require the subscriptions. It really, really helps us grow the channel, and it shows our bosses that we're doing the right thing. But next week, hopefully, we see a lot of your nice modern decks or Pioneer in the comments. And in the meantime, we'll see you next week.